Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how you can root and flash a custom recovery and be able to flash custom ROMs on your Google Pixel and Pixel XL. First off, this could be the warranty of your device. We won't be held responsible for anything that happens, obviously. Uh, also, this procedure is written keeping the Windows version of ADB in mind. So if you have Mac or Linux, the steps will slightly vary. Before we begin, please head over to our how to set up ADB procedure, follow that tutorial, install ADB on your computer, and then you can come back to this one. This is also going to erase everything on the phone, so keep that in mind. Uh, and also we'll flash a custom recovery while doing this. And this should only be done on a Pixel or a Pixel XL, not any other phone. Now, something I learned while doing this is that you will also need a USB drive and a USB OTG to USB-C adapter. Now, one of those came with your Pixel, so you can use that unless you've lost it. Then I've linked below for a USB drive that's inexpensive and also an OTG adapter that is inexpensive. Okay, so first we're gonna download the files that we need. We need to download SuperSU and save that to our desktop. You can click the link below to get that. Then download TWRP recovery in both the .img and the .zip formats, and also save that to your desktop as well. Now, if you have a Verizon version of the Pixel or Pixel XL, you'll also need the DPixel 8 program in order to unlock the bootloader. So download that as well if you're a Verizon user only. So while those are downloading, regardless of whether you have Verizon or not, we're going to enable USB debugging on the phone and plug it in. So to do that, you're gonna go to settings in the phone, then about phone, Tap on build number until it says you are a developer. Then we can hit back and tap on developer options. Then turn on USB debugging. After that, plug the device in via the USB. Now, if you have Verizon, you're gonna copy that DPixel 8 from your desktop over to the ADB folder that's located in the C drive, which was installed when you did my how to ADB tutorial. Then you can open that folder, hold shift on the keyboard and right click anywhere that's blank in there and select open command window here. And then you're gonna put in the following commands, which you can click below for a list of them. Once you've done those commands, your device should reboot into bootloader mode. Once it does, you can then type fastboot OEM unlock and hit enter and follow the on-screen instructions on the phone for unlocking the bootloader on the Verizon Pixel or Pixel XL. Now, if you have any other version of the Pixel, you're going to, instead of using the Pixel, just skip directly to going into the ADB folder inside the C drive on the PC. Again, it should be there if you did my tutorial on how to set up ADB. Hold shift on the keyboard, right click anywhere in there and select open command window here. Then you're gonna type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. The device should reboot into bootloader mode. And then we can type fastboot OEM unlock and follow the on-screen instructions to unlock the bootloader. Now that the bootloader is unlocked, we need to connect the USB stick that I mentioned before to the computer. Then we're gonna copy the .zip version of TWRP recovery over to the USB drive. Make sure it's not in any folders, just on the root of the storage. We're gonna do the same thing with that supersu.zip file. Again, move it to the USB drive, not in any folders on the root of the storage. And we're gonna copy the .img version of WRP into that ADB folder on the C drive, and we're gonna rename it to TWRP. This way it's TWRP.img is the final name. After that, you're gonna to have to pull down the notification shade and go into settings again. Go to about phone, keep tapping on build number until it tells you you are a developer again, because all this got reset when we unlocked the bootloader. Then we're going to go back, go into developer options, and again, enable USB debugging. After that, we can unplug the USB drive from the computer, plug in the phone to the computer instead, and then open the ADB folder on your PC, hold down shift on your keyboard and right click anywhere on the screen that is blank and select open command window here. Then we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. When your device enters bootloader mode, we're then gonna type fastboot boot twrp.img. It'll then reboot your device into TWRP recovery, which is what we just loaded into the ADB folder a minute ago. Once it does, unplug the phone from the computer and plug in the USB drive into that OTG adapter and then plug that into the bottom of the phone. In TWRP on the phone, you're gonna tap cancel to get past the encryption menu if that comes up. Then we can tap mount and tap the OTG option that should be there now. Tap select storage and tap on the OTG option again. Tap back to get to the main menu in recovery. Tap install 
Then we're gonna select that twrp.zip file and swipe to confirm and let that flash. When it's done, we're gonna tap back, then tap reboot and select recovery. This will actually boot us into that newly flashed recovery instead of the one that we booted from the computer. When the phone enters the recovery mode, tap on mount, tap the OTG option again, then we're gonna tap select storage and also tap the OTG option again. Hit back to get to the recovery menu, tap install, and this time we're gonna select the supersu.zip file. Again, swipe to confirm flash and let it flash. When SuperSU is done, and it may take a while, it may also reboot your phone a couple of times, you're gonna reboot the device by tapping on reboot if it hasn't already booted up normally to get it to boot up normally. Once you do that, you can unplug the USB and the OTG from the bottom of the phone, and you should see SuperSU in your app drawer. There you go, you now are rooted and have a custom recovery. You can go on to flashing custom ROMs. Uh, if you want more info on that, you can click the link below to be taken to my tutorial on how to do that. And also I have a ROM repository on my site that's full of ROMs for these devices that you can check out. Um, also, if you guys are having any issues with this tutorial, please don't comment here on YouTube. Click the link in the description below uh, to be taken to the article on my site and comment there instead. This way it notifies me when you do that and it's much easier for me to help. Now, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out the YouTube channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides just rooting. Go check it out. You might like it. If you do, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.